Hey, what's going on you guys? Matt here and in this video we are going to talk about top 10 anti hair loss treatments from the very cheap one until the most expensive one. So stay tuned. Hey, what's going on you guys? My name is Matt and I have done a hair transplant about two and a half years ago and since then I've been helping out guys with hair loss to get a quality hair transplant. So if you are new to this channel make sure you check out my free ebook five things I wished I'd known before my hair transplant. Make sure you download it in the description below where you can also sign up for a free call with me where I'm gonna take a look at your hair loss and help you get your hair back. And now we'll start with anti-hair loss treatment number one which is gonna be onion juice. And I chose it as the number one treatment because it's inexpensive, you can grow it in your garden, squeeze it, juice it and apply it on your thinning areas. And honestly I think it works better for women because as men we have like more aggressive types of hair loss so onion juice will not really work as much from my experience as I tried it out as well but I think if you have like thinning hair and it's in its earliest stage of miniaturization then onion juice can actually work and there are actual studies which confirm that onion juice, onion extract can help people regrow hair. I would definitely add peppermint oil into the extract because it really stinks, it smells really bad. Because if you want to apply this on your scalp, you want it to smell much better than it smells. Moving on to the more expensive anti-hair loss treatment, which is gonna be your shampoo. Uh, I recommend you to buy a DHT blocking shampoo which contains ketoconazole. 2% ketoconazole would be the best. My suggestion is Nizoral shampoo, which can cost you from 10 to $20. If you buy two shampoos, this should be enough for one year supply. Count with 30 to $40 per year spent on this anti-hair loss shampoo. I use the DHT blocking shampoo from Hara Restoration Laboratories. I really like it. The bottle is huge, so you buy one and it will last you six to 12 months. My hair feels great, it feels much thicker always when I apply it. There are so many natural ingredients and also contains ketoconazole. So if you also don't buy this one, make sure you buy a shampoo which contains ketoconazole because this is a DHT blocking compound which shouldn't be missing in your anti-hair loss shampoo. And if you wanna give a chance to the shampoo I'm using, make sure you check it out in the description below. There's also a discount code for you guys 15% off on your whole order if you want to order this shampoo. Moving on to the anti-hair loss treatment number three, derma roller. If you want to know how to use derma roller in order to get some of your hair back to make it uh, grow thicker and regrow it, make sure you check out my derma rolling routine how should you use it, how many times per week, uh, what type of derma roller and how to use it safely. I highly, highly suggest you to check it out. And uh, back to the cost of it, uh, this one I got for like $10 or $12. It has one millimeter needles. This can cost you 50 to $60 per year. So a little bit more expensive, but worth it. Also many studies which prove the effectiveness of derma rolling on a regular basis for hair regrowth. All right guys, now let's move on to the anti-hair loss treatment number four, even a little bit more expensive than derma roller. It's upgraded version, it's called derma pen. Basically it's meant to do the same what derma roller does. What I like about this, it does less damage to your scalp than derma roller. I mean, if you are starting out with microneedling, the likelihood to damage some of your skin tissues with derma roller is greater than with the derma pen. So I think this is more, more safer. This one cost me about $50. You can also pay $120 for it. So the price kind of varies and you will also need extra cartridges. If you keep using the same needles of the same cartridge on your pen or the same needles on your roller, for several sessions in a row, well, the risk of infection also increase. So you don't want that. So you wanna keep replacing them once in a while. This whole thing can cost you from $80 to $180 per year. 
Number five is going to be minoxidil. It's going to be Rogaine, Regain, call it as you want. This one is actually Regain, 5%. You can buy it for around $50, three months supply, which can make it like $200 per year if you are in the US. Actually found it in Walgreens, it's a good price. If you buy this foam solution in Europe though, it can cost you up to $300 per year. So slightly more expensive in Europe than in US. Make sure you get the 5% one. I feel like the 2% one is not as strong, especially for guys with aggressive type of hair loss. So make sure you buy the 5% one. For most cases, it will stop your hair loss, it will slow it down, but the regrowth is not gonna be as great. That's why I also advise you have to add Derma Roller and Rogaine and Regain together to achieve better results because this is gonna boost the hell out of this guy. Anti-hair loss treatment number six is gonna be Finasteride or brand name Propecia. Uh, I'm not advising it, I'm actually against it. I don't feel like it's safe drug and I don't take it, but if you consider it, you get a prescription from your doctor so you can get it. Mm, I would say Finasteride is cheaper, you can get like one year supply for $200 if you buy the brand name Propecia, which is actually the same thing. It's gonna cost you probably twice as much, so I would stick to Finasteride instead of Propecia. Again, in Europe and UK, I feel like it's a little bit more expensive than it is in United States. Many studies which prove the effectiveness of Finasteride, and I don't argue with that, but there are also many side effects which came with this drug Drug, which I don't feel like they are very well observed so far. All right guys, moving on to the anti-hair loss treatment number seven. It is gonna be the topical version of finasteride, just its topical brother. There was this study which actually proved that the topical finasteride was a little bit less effective. It's gonna be more expensive. In Europe you can get one month supply of topical finasteride for like 50 euro, which can make it around five to 600 euro per year. I'm sure in the US it's gonna be a little bit cheaper, but you can also, you have to also pay for prescription there, I think, not sure about that. So it can range from 300 to six, $700 per year. Again, the studies on topical finasteride and its DHT blocking effects are there, I believe it, it works, but again, the side effects are also there. Unfortunately, I don't feel like they're very well observed so far and we still don't know how it can affect us long-term, especially our hormones, testosterone, libido, and erections uh, for men. Now, let's move on to the anti-hair loss treatment number eight. Now it's getting a little bit more expensive. <laughs> it's gonna be PRP, platelet-rich plasma therapy. They will basically drown your blood, they will extract the blood plasma from it and inject the blood plasma back onto your receding areas. This is the video I made on that, so make sure you check it out if you are interested in uh, getting PRP. Now, the prices of PRP worldwide are very, very different. You can get one procedure for $100 somewhere in Eastern or Central Europe or Tunisia, while in US they may charge you like $1,000. Of course, there are packages where you can get this for better price. What I advise you is to get at least three sessions of PRP to know how your body responds to it, whether the hair grow will come or not. Don't be surprised when PRP will not work for you at all because, well, there are not many studies. There are, there are some studies which prove its effectiveness, but they were not made on a large sample of population. So I think the benefits are quite short term. Uh, you just feel that your hair is stronger after the initial injection, but after one year, after your PRP sessions, your hair may start falling out again. So please don't be surprised if it's also the case with you, if PRP will not work for you. One year PRP therapy, three to six injections and maybe one more injection at the end of the year to maintain the result can cost you from six to seven eight hundred euro somewhere in Europe or two thousand in the US so this is the price range for three to six 
sessions depends on the package that you will choose moving on to the anti halos treatment number nine which is even more expensive than the prp it's gonna be its upgraded version prp and a cell the only difference here is that there's gonna be another product added to the prp and then injected into your scalp the product is called a cell a cellular matrix which was proven to be very effective by wound healing a muscle tissue regeneration skin regeneration and stuff like that i still don't feel like it's gonna really boost the hair growth next to the prp costs of prp and a cell are like 2200 up to five thousand dollars just for one injection of prp and a cell it of course depends on the area which was treated with the injections all right guys the top 10 anti hair loss treatment which is also the most effective from my experience and uh, from what i've seen it's hair transplant guys uh, the price of hair transplant can vary from $2,000 until like $20,000 so the range is huge and sometimes it's very hard to choose the right hair transplant for yourself for your type of hair loss now hair transplant is basically a surgical procedure where they will extract hair from your back portion of your scalp and implant it on the areas where your hair is needed it can be extracted in a strip of several hair follicles or it can be extracted follicle by follicle so-called fue versus fut futs are a little bit less expensive fues a little bit more expensive all right guys now if you need some help how to choose a great hair transplant specialist and how to get a great result for your type of hair loss make sure you sign up for a free call in the description below where i'm gonna help you with all this stuff the hair that you get from hair transplant is gonna stay there forever so this is the good news that's why i also think that it's very very clever to invest more into a good quality hair transplant which will last you a long time and it will look great all right guys so these were my top 10 anti-hair loss treatments most of them fda approved and did i forget any important anti-hair loss treatment which you uh, consider very important in your anti-hair loss routine let me know in the description below as well make sure you subscribe and like this video as always that was matt dominance from the hair transplant channel and see you in the next video